So welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to understand the operation of the thumbs on the next-gen mini hydraulic excavators and understanding one-way, two-way flow and even look at a, like a rookie mistake that surprisingly a lot of people make. So to start off with, one-way flow. That's for a hammer or a compactor or a mulcher. Um, that's how it works. Two-way flow is when you want to power a thumb in both directions. Power it closed, power the thumb open. You also want two-way flow for something like an auger, when you want to power an auger one way or power an auger the other way. We're going to show uh, this 307.5 with this sort of 3,000 pound weight we got in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and operate this machine and show you the thumb. We've just installed the thumb on this machine and uh, first off we're just going to have a look at it. So closes, opens, but the first thing I notice is that even though we have aux flow adjust, it's a different speed in the two directions. Well that's a bit strange, but I don't know. It's working, so let's go ahead and try it. So I'm going to come across and I'm going to reach under this weight. Like I said, it's about 3,000 pounds and oh, just bought this thumb and it doesn't appear to be working. So I can't lift up the block no matter what I do. So now I start re-plumbing it, doing all sorts of crazy things. But it's really quite simply, I've made a rookie mistake. This machine currently is in one-way flow. And the thumb will move, but it simply won't work. You'll be surprised how many people like say, I put a thumb on, it doesn't work, it's not very good. The first thing I always say is, uh, have you checked to make sure it's in two-way flow? So we're going to go ahead and put this machine into two-way flow. So all next-gen mini hydraulic excavators have a one-way, two-way valve located in different places. On this particular machine, it's located right in the back here. You can check your operation and maintenance mode. You'll find the exact location. And at the moment, I can see the decal on top. I can see it's in one-way flow. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn it into two-way flow. And uh, we'll see if that makes things work any better. So we're now back up into the machine. Give it a few RPMs, a same machine, same block, same thumb, but now I can see the thumb is moving same speed in both directions. I do have aux flow adjust, and of course I can now go and simply pick up this block just like that. Dead simple. I mean, this 37.5 fixed boom standard tail handles this 3,000 pound weight with no problem. Now, like I said, this is how we ship the machines um, with the bucket overpowering the thumb to about there and we don't overpower it anymore. Now some people like to adjust the aux relief on the machine to allow the bucket to overpower the thumb and order the cradle to load. Now the way we use and set up these thumbs and buckets is that the bucket will only overpower the thumb so far and then it just stalls out. We run our thumbs at system pressure. Now if you do want to cradle the load and have the bucket overpower the thumb, you can adjust the uh, aux relief pressure, but then you're going to be leaving some performance on the table. Now it's also, if you was to curl the bucket and just crack the thumb a little bit, you can still curl this load without adjusting the relief pressure. And of course you can go the other way as well. Just crack open the bucket, so you can still manipulate your weight without dropping it in either direction if you did want to cradle it. When you have a thumb and bucket on a cat next gen mini hydraulic excavator like this and you're running it in two-way flow, you can see it lifts it with no problem whatsoever. So, just a little bit of a know-how there on thumbs and uh, one-way, two-way flow and how to use them. For further information, contact your local cat dealer and look out for more how-to videos.